Hi friends, in this video I'll show you how to fix FPS drops and stuttering in Windows while playing games. This video is about how you can optimize your Windows 11 PC for gaming without using any third party tool. Yes, if you are facing issues with low FPS or FPS drops and stuttering in games, these are the best tested with benchmarks and proven to be the best fixes for the FPS drops. So let's start with the first fix that is for the first fix you have to go to the PC, my PC. So next you have to right click on the my PC and then click on properties. So it will take you to the system properties from here just move down and then click on advanced system settings and from here here just click on advanced tab and then click on settings in the performance section and then go to the advanced again and from here you will be able to see the virtual memory section and then click on this virtual memory here by default it will be set to automatically manage paging file size of all drive this paging size is what it determines how initial performance of the application takes place just uncheck this option now you will be able to see the space available for paging file size so you have the file size here the default allocated size is 8503 MB. Now you have to select the custom size and you have to mention the initial size and the maximum size. That should be ended in megabytes and you should calculate the maximum size you want to allocate for this paging file. For example, you can see that my installed RAM is of 8 GB. If you have a RAM of 8 GB, just go to the calculator and uh, just multiply. 8 into 1024 that is 1 gigabyte is 1024 megabyte so you have to multiply with 1024 then you will get a value here then multiply it by 2 so this is the value you have to enter here you have to enter the same value as the maximum size both now after entering the value you can click on set now you have got a warning message this is because your C drive doesn't have that much space. So before doing this make sure that your C drive is having enough space left for the page file to run. Now I am going to free the space in my C drive and we will try again. As you can see here that I have went back and created more space in my C drive. Now again you go to the custom size from here as per the previous calculation which I have shown. I'll show it once again like if you have a, a GB of memory then 8 into 1024 that is megabyte then into 2 so this is what I am going to put it as initial as well as maximum size paste it here then just remove that uh, comma then once that is done then click on set then click on ok and it will prompt that you should need to restart your computer to make the changes click on ok then click on apply then click on ok Now you have to restart the computer to make the changes effect. Now after the restart let's have a look at the page file dot sys the size of the file. So just go to the C drive and from here you will be able to see that the page file dot sys the file size is 16 GB. Now we have allocated the virtual RAM for this page file. Now this is supposed to fix the FPS issue and random RAM bottleneck that causes FPS to go slow. Now the next fix is to disable the game DVR. For that you have to go to the registry. For that just click on the start from there go to the search and type in reg edit. You will get the registry editor here. Just open the registry editor. Now from here go to the HK current user now from here go to system from here open game config store 
Now here you will see a file name game DVR enabled. Just double click on it. And uh, you can see that the value is one. Change it to zero. Now this will disable the game DVR and the game DVR is Windows default game platform that is running in the background when you are playing the games which is not required in most of the cases doing that click on ok now again go back to the register editor now here next you have to open the hk local machine from here go to system now from here go to software then open microsoft now from here go down to policy manager now expand default now just look for application management you will get it here just expand it from here again look for game dvr you can see that allow game dvr just expand the open it and you will have an option here known as value just double click on it and change it to zero once it is done you can click ok then you can close down the register editor and you have to start your PC. Now the next fix is to set off your high precision event timer. For that you have to go to the device manager. Just right click on the start and from there you will get the device manager. Just click on device manager. Now from here go to system devices. Now from here you can see high precision even timer just right click on it and uh, disable the device just click on yes the high precision even timer will mess up timing of your hardware devices which will make the game stutter like uh, anything so it is always advised to uh, disable the high precision even timer then you can restart your system now the fourth method to reduce the lag is to enable the gpu driver in your system for that just go to the start from there go to the window settings now from here just go to system and look for display settings now from here look for graphics you have to enable optimizations for windowed game just turn it on just go to the app section that is below this now from here you will be able to find all the games here or you can add the game from here add desktop app just click on that and from here you can select the app that is your game once that is added just go to this drop down from here you have an option named gpu preference just click on it and now from here you can change the GPU preference to the high performance uh, graphics. That is Ultra HD graphics. Now from here go back to display. Now from here go to uh, advanced display. And uh, change the refresh rate to 100 Hz if you have a 100 Hz monitor or above that. Based on your monitor the refresh rate will be different. It's always advised to put it at the maximum based on your uh, display monitor. Now from here again go to the gaming section and just expand the game mode and you have to enable the game mode here. This will optimize your PC for play by turning things off in the background. And now you can close down this window. And now the last thing you can do is you have to turn off the startup apps. There are a lot of startup apps that is running when your system is booting up, which will affect the FPS of the game. So you have to disable all those startup apps. For that, just go to the start, right click on it, and then go to the task manager. And from here, just go and look for startup apps. You'll be able to see that a lot of startup apps are running here. Just look for the startup apps, which is not necessary. There may be a lot of apps which you might not be using. So find those apps and then right click on those and disable it. Which will help my system to run without any latency. So that's it. These are the fixes which you can try to make your FPS drops and stuttering in games.
so hope this video is helpful for you thanks for watching please subscribe like and share thank you